So we are going to prove that e to the i t equals cosine t plus i sine t. To do that, let's consider the function e to the i t over cosine t plus i sine t. If we take the derivative, then we get y prime equals. By the quotient rule, first we have the bottom cosine t plus i sine t. Then the derivative of the top is going to be i e to the i t. By the chain rule, then we do minus. The top is e to the i t, the derivative of the bottom, negative sine t plus i cosine t. And then we divide by the denominator squared. So whatever squared, we don't really care. Let's just look at the numerator. We have an e to the i t in everything, so let's factor that out. Then if we distribute this i in, we get i cosine t. And then i times i is negative 1, so minus sine t. Then over here, we get minus a minus sine t is plus sine t, and then minus i cosine t. Now if we look at this, we have a sine t and a sine t are going to cancel out, and plus minus i cosine t are going to cancel out. This equals 0. So y prime equals 0. The only function whose derivative is 0 is a constant, so we know y equals c. All we have to do is find one particular value of y, and then we know the value is the same everywhere because it's constant. So if we think about y of 0, that's going to be e to the i times 0 over cosine 0 plus i sine 0. We know sine of 0 is 0. And then e to the uh, i times 0 is e to the 0 is 1 over cosine 0 is also 1, which means that y of 0 is 1. Because y is a constant, we know that y is 1 everywhere, which means that e to the i t over cosine t plus i sine t is always equal to 1. And therefore, e to the i t equals cosine t plus i sine t. And we are done.